Yo guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the edge detect effect that I did in my last edit. I probably already shown a preview, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, so first what I want you to do is have all your clips ready and your transitions ready. Um, once you've done that, or before uh, you've done that, make sure um, the transition is going in because it would look the best. It wouldn't look good when zooming out. Um, so basically, what you want to do is um, download the stuff that is in the description. Now, once you've got the overlay in, it should look something like this. Um, you're going to want to put it under, like, kind of just here. Actually, no, my bad. Uh, go, in, uh, double click your pre-comp. Yeah, you drag in the overlay. Just like so. Now, what you want to do is zoom it in. Uh, just press, hit S on your keyboard. Um, and kind of just, I don't know, scale it into around here-ish. I think this is what I did, yeah. Around here. Yeah. Um, let me uh, wait, press uh, Control Alt T, and then um, you want to keyframe it to where your clip ends in the precom. So it's sort of here, or just here. Yep. Um, and you want to keyframe it here. Um, now you want to speed it up until it finishes, and then here, make sure it's at the end. Now I'll highlight both of these. Now I'll go into uh, press F9 to easy ease it now you want to um, bring this up uh, just kind of make a graph like this um, you can always mess with it I'm gonna mess with it a little bit um, and I'll be back all right so I've done the graph now uh, go out a graph um, now once you have done that you should have something looking like this. So, yep. Um, now, what you want to do is press Control Alt Y to have an adjustment layer. If you don't know how to do that, well, sorry, if you can't be bothered doing that, then you can uh, right click uh, this. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, and then go find adjustment layer and click on it. Um, so same thing, just have it, uh, make sure you delete it, and then drag out one frame, so, yeah. Um, now, once you've done that, you wanna search S underscore edge detect. And, uh, actually, hide this for a second. Ooh, I'm gonna clearly put blue, but it, you can really choose any color if you're not doing like a remake of someone's edit or whatever. Um, so basically, uh, mess with the settings in here. Um, um, so now I want hue, so search up hue, um, and then make sure it's this one, not this one. Um, and basically here uh, you want to go colorize tick that turn up the saturation uh, saturation to what you want and then change the color to kind of a bluish yeah like i said you don't need my color but yep blue looks good i think um now you want deep glow this is a plugin, so if you don't have it, then I can't help you. <laughs> um, now you want to mess with your settings till it's not that bright. I think just turning uh, the exposure down would kind of just look good. I think it's, uh, you don't really need to mess around with the settings unless it looks really bad. Um, and then after you've done that, you want to add shine. This is also another plugin, so. Um, now, I think, you want to 
go to colorize. You want to go down to where is it? Electric. Um, electric's already blue, but you can always change the color. Um, I kind of want to go for a lighter bit of blue, so I'm going to go for like a lighter blue from the tip, and then like in the middle, different. Um, now once you've done that, you want to turn down, like kind of just put it like to I think 0 0.6 would be good. 0 0.6. Yeah, that looks that looks good got like a little shine of it. Alright. You've done your settings for the edge detect. Now this is where you need to pay attention. So it will look something like this for you guys. Um, and at the bottom it will say toggle switch. What you want to do is yeah clearly press the toggle switch. Alright sorry I was struggling there. I didn't know why it wasn't working but I figured out why. That was my bad. Um so basically you want to, I had the adjustment clip up here, so you want to switch it around. Then once again, hit toggle switch mode. Um, so you've got this up at the top, you want to just turn it off, you don't really need it on. Um, and then basically you want to click where it says none, and then press the bottom one. And now it should be the ink overlay, if it not, then you clearly followed the thing wrong or I just suck one of the two um now with the ink overlay you want to hit the here you want to uh, keyframe it and basically keyframe the zoom into it and it covers the whole thing it's about like this now after you've done that you want to graph it um I'm just gonna use flow but kind of do a graph like this actually uh, no, I'll be hopeful and just yeah. yeah go like this then open go press F9 easy easy it and then kind of graph it so it looks something like this alright okay um thing wasn't uh, since it crashed i had to kind of spend another like five minutes trying to figure out where i was at but yeah um i'm back to where we were um so basically after that we want to um go to the adjustment clip press t so then uh, opacity comes up you want to keyframe it um so keyframe it frame it there um Keyframe it along here, kind of just near the end, um, and then turn it on to zero. So something like this. Now, and then put zero here, and then put this to round here. So overall, it should look something like. Wait, wait, let me do okay, for that. Um, so basically what I want you to do is go to the graph page, easy easy, so easy easy, yeah, once you have easy easy, you just want to do a graph something similar to this. Um I've done a kind of mistake here. You kind of want it showing. So I'm on something like this. Put it down a little bit. Alright. Now once you've done the graph. Um, and basically you're done. I mean kind of done. Um, now remember it always needs to be uh, a zoom in transition so um when it's a zoom in transition right uh it should look something like this so basically it gets covered faster like the ink overlay gets covered faster so it doesn't even look like an ink overlay but it just looks like it's going out you don't always need to use the ink overlay but since it's an overlay it's way easier <laughs>
So if you um, want it to look like mine, um, they kind of wavy. It's called turbine display. Basically, you want to um, same thing. You press new and adjustment layer or control alt y adjustment layer. Cut it down to the cliplet um, size. Put it on top of the nose, and if you've got any other effects, put it on top of it. Um, and then basically search up turbulent display. Click on the distort one. Um, and then basically, yeah, you've got all of this. Then basically, you want to keyframe it, both of them, so the amount and size. So the amount can kind of just, you know, go around to here, ish around here and go here the amount goes oh shoot the amount goes down to zero this goes up to around 200 ish and basically you're done you, all you need to do is kind of um, you want to press F9 on the keyboard to easy ease it you want to go into graph I have just make sure it's value graph Turn one of them on first. Um, kind of make a graph, like pretty easy graph, like something like this. Yeah. So after you've done that, yeah, you've got your edge detect thing. Um, mine did have uh, 3D text, but I can do another video on it. So if you guys want to learn how to, I do my 3D text, then I can show you a complete video on it. But um this is gonna be it and yeah that's yeah 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 yeah